Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Elio. How are you? I fine, fine. I <laughs> prepare me. I am preparing a presentation upon for uh, in the university. I I am going to present. Uh, we, we say trabajo de cátedra. It's like a thesis. A thesis, yes. Yeah, the thesis that we this so a group of students, uh, a group of classmates, uh, prepare in in the end of, uh, uh, of every cycle of every end of the of the cycle, and it, it's about the franquicias. I am going to I am going to present with another two classmates that 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 trabajo de cátedra and. That, that thesis and I am concerned about that because I I don't have too much time in, in my work we are working in the POA right now in the, the planification for the next year and I have been really busy <laughs> yes. really really busy <laughs> really busy yes. yeah I, I can imagine I, that I have my lunch at uh, 4 p.m because I didn't have time at at, at noon so but, you, uh, you, you didn't you didn't have time for for e even eat right yes yes but but i i did i i, I made the homework or did the homework how, how can i say did the homework i did the homework yes i did the homework i i confuse on time using make or did maybe in, in, we are going to study about that in a soon in another lesson yeah actually it's really simple because make normally we use it when we do things with our hands right for for example if i uh want to cook pupusas right i make pupusas because i use my hands okay yes and i okay. do when it's an action right for example uh do the homework pro probably you have to investigate you have yeah. to create a presentation you have to study so that is do and but make is when you use your hands Okay, good, good. Okay, okay. got it. I got it. Okay, really, very good, Elio. Uh, so you have been very busy, right? Yes, really busy. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, um, next next week or probably once you finish uh these classes, you will have more time, right? Yes. Yes, and I have finished the 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 sec the how can I say cyclo cyclo the master. The you semester. Can say semester. Uh -huh. I, I am finished the semester too. Yes, yes. So in this case, you will have more time. You yes. will rest a little bit more. <laughs> yes. No, I, I like to practice more English because I, I, I in the morning I was practicing at seven, at seven a.m. Mm -hmm. I went to university to receive. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's tremendous. I am receiving. English in, in the university, but it's basic English because I need to I need to get this uh, grade because it's a, it, it is it is in the pensum and I talked with the with the decanato and I told them that uh, if I could. If I could make an exam or quiz for for pass this, uh, and they told me no, we don't have, have that program. We have you. You need to receive the this all the semester. <laughs> I have been practicing. Uh, I have been learning the the abecedary, the basic things, basic. But I help to the other students because there are a lot of students that they are not. They are not prepared, well prepared in in the yes, basic they, English. They are starting, right? They are starting yes. learning English. Yes. Yes, I imagine that. But it's good. It's good to remember things. Sometimes you learn new things, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Hopefully you will rest during Christmas or at the end of this year. So I uh, just uh, a little bit more, right? You're yes. you're about to finish. Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay, very good. We are going to start right now. We have Zulma, Beatrice, thank you for being here, Estella, Elizabeth, and Jaime, right? And of course, Eliu, that is kind of busy right now. 
Um, we are going to begin uh, with some questions. Let me see here. Well, actually, this is the platform and we are in section four. So next week is our last week, right? You see, we are about to finish this module. So uh, get ready. Fortunately, you don't have exams for these modules of English. So you just need to practice. And um, I don't know if you have any question about uh, the, the section four. If you have uh, checked it, if you have completed the exercises, remember that tomorrow is the last day to complete the section four, right? Because we won't have any class on Friday. So uh, remember if you have any question about the reading or let's see what else we have here about the knowledge check or um, what is the other part? I guess this is another knowledge check, like optional questions. These are kind of easy, but if you have any question, just let me know, right? Uh, send me the screenshot or send me the question where you have problems and I will try to help you as soon as possible. So do you have any questions right now or anybody has any question? Preguntas de la plataforma? No questions? Okay, perfect, perfect. So if you have any questions, just remember that uh, you can do it through the WhatsApp group. Now uh, we are going to start, we are going to have a review about last class. Right? Vamos a revisar la clase pasada, la última, just to check where we are. Uh, yesterday we were uh, studying the section four. Actually, we finished one of the topics. Uh, we were checking personal services and services that we can get done right by someone else like for example uh painting walls painting the house fixing the car right uh but we are able to use get and have right get and have to um, describe a service that is done by another person so we don't do it we are probably we are able to do it but we don't have time or probably we don't know how to do it and uh, we get someone else um is doing that that work for us, right? And we had some examples, right? For example, my parents didn't paint their house before they moved in, they had it painted, right? And we had uh, also the structures, right? Have or get, we had the structures here. These were the structures. Then we use the passive voice also. Teacher, I have a lot of cough. Okay, you have cough, Rafael, no problem. Uh, you can listen to um, the class. Thank you for letting me know. So we have these uh, exercises here. And it's um, these examples, actually, not exercises. These examples here. And also uh, the structure, right? Subject plus get plus have plus object plus past participle plus by add plus person or business plus complement. So we can use this uh, structure to create more sentences, right? And we were reviewing also the passive voice because we checked the passive voice and also some examples, how to use the passive voice and how to use get and uh, have, right? For services done by another person. So we have the active voice, the mechanic, the mechanic is fixing my car. We can say that, or we can say my car is getting fixed by the mechanic, right? So I get, uh, I get, or I have my teeth cleaned by the dentist, right? Uh, passive voice also, I got, or I had my photo taken by a, by a photographer to cut my hair, right? I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow, right? We use the past participle of the verbs, right, also. And to fix the car also, right? He is having, or he is getting his car fixed by the mechanic. So we were checking those sentences and we had a homework, right? What was the homework about? What was the homework about? We have to create a list of services or actually not a list, but uh, we need to write at least three sentences with get or have. Examples, I'm going to get my computer fixed. She is having her house painted. So we have to uh, at least three sentences. We can write three. If you wrote one or two sentences, that's okay. Let's see. Uh, who did the homework? Quien hizo la tarea? Quien escribió las oraciones? Who wrote the sentence? You did I, it? 
I did. Okay, perfect. So we are going to write right now um, these sentences. Let me see if I'm able to share this. So in the, um, in the chat, I share a link that is a Padlet, right? And if you click in the link, you are going to open this um, window, right? This like a pink or per, uh, kind of salmon color window. And you are going to write your sentences. So you see here the plus sign and also the sign like, like the icon, it changes to a pen, right? You can click here and you can write your sentences. For example, I am going to get my hair cut tomorrow, period. I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. And we click in publish or publica, right? Click here and I will be able to see the sentence. Are you able to see my screen? So you can see here my sentence. So I want you to write your sentences right now. Write your sentences and we are going to read it just to check if your sentences are correct or not. Okay, right, right, uh, right now, uh, if you have the link in the chat, check the link in the chat and write your sentences, okay? You just need to click here in the plus sign and then you will see this and you can write here in Asunto, right? Pardon me, uh, teacher. Yes. Because my wife was talking, was asking something to me. Yes. And where is the, li the link that we need to? Ah, the link is in the chat of Zoom, in the Zoom's chat. Um, okay. Yes, está en el eh, chat de la reunión de Zoom. Ahí les envié el link para que pudieran abrir esta ventana y pudieran escribir sus oraciones. So you can write your sentences right now and we are going to check if they are correct or not or if you are using the correct um, structure, right? The structure that we studied yesterday, this one, right? Person okay. plus get half plus object plus past participle. So we are going to check it right now. Okay. Okay, write your sentences right now. If you wrote, if you did the homework or if you uh, think that you are able to write one sentence, you can do it right now. Okay, I will wait for your sentences right now. Just try to write them right now. <clears throat> if you have any question, let me know, right? If you don't know how to write it, or if you don't know how to how to check the link, let me know. Uh, I, I don't find where I, I need to okay where i need to to write i don't i don't find that did you open i, I open i open the link okay i am okay. i am looking the, the red page yes at the bottom at the bottom okay. on the right side you will see a plus sign un signo de mas, a plus sign and you just need okay. to click okay. it and you will see this black window and then you can in asunto you okay. can write it Okay. You can write it and then you can click on publicar or publish, right? Okay. Here. Okay, I'm receiving I, it right I, now. I wrote in, uh -huh. in, the, in the next part, uh, write something amazing. <laughs> that oh, okay. It. Yes, you are able to write there because it's like, um, it's like an email, right? Asunto and then... But it's okay. Very good. Perfect. No problem. So it says, I'm going to get a new suit for my graduation. Very good. Very good. I'm going to get. That's okay. But remember that we need to use get or have, right? And then a past participle. Remember the structure? This is the person, get, have, and the object. For, for example, if this sentence was a suit, right? 
and then the past participle, right? For example, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get fixed. Um, I'm going to get fixed my or I'm going to get my suit fixed for my graduation. Voy a hacer que me arreglen mi traje para la graduación, verdad? Very good. Uh, you can write any sentence uh, here. So no problem. I wrote, I'm going to get my hair cut, right? I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. That's the one that I wrote from some of the examples that we did yesterday. Uh, it says, I get my smartphone screen repaired tomorrow in the afternoon. That's okay. That's good. Exactly. I'll get my smartphone screen, the object, right? And then the past participle, repair tomorrow in the afternoon. And we have another one. It says, I have in mother house cleaned for the family nesting. What does it mean, the family nesting? What is the meaning of the family nesting? What, what, uh, who wrote that? The family nesting. Let's see the chat. Reunión familiar. Okay, reunión familiar. But um, family meeting, probably, right? Family meeting, right? Family meeting. I uh, You can write, I am having my mother house clean for the family meeting. Or reunion. You can say reunion also. Very good. Another Another sentence that you wrote. Another sentence. I'm going to write the one that from the family nesting and we are going to fix it. I'm having my mother house clean for the family meeting or reunion. You can write reunion, right? For the family reunion and publicar. You see? And that's how you get it. It says, in December, I am going to get my house painted. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. On December 17th, 17th I'll have finished my semester in the university. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. But that is, I'll have finished. I have finished. Or I will have finished, right? I will have finished. Um. I have my PC clean of viruses because I buy a new antivirus. Very good. Yes, I have my PC clean of viruses because I bought I buy a new antivirus. Yes, yes. Let's say that is uh, grammatically correct. Yes, it's okay. Let's see another one. Someone, someone else. Alguien más. Alguien más que haya escrito otra oración. It says the students are going to get review for the exams. The students are going to get review. Okay, remember that uh, review, uh, the past participle, right? Reviewed. So uh, the students are going to get reviewed. Van a, uh, los, los van a revisar, ¿verdad? Para los exámenes. Los, estu los estudiantes van a uh, ser revisados so o alguien los va a revisar para los exámenes. Yeah, it could be possible. I will have finished. What is what happens with that sentence? I will have finished. That's that's correct, grammatically correct, but that is the present perfect future, right? That is a, a tense. Ese es un es, ese es otro tiempo. Yo habré terminado, ¿verdad? Yo habré terminado. So uh, it is kind of different from the structure that we are studying right now. I'm going to get my hair cut tomorrow. Exactly. That's, I guess that that's the one I wrote. You see, I'm having my mother house clean. I am, I'm having my mother house clean for my family meeting. I'm going to get a new suit for my graduation. Okay, very good. So those will be the sentences. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sentences. I'm going to get my semester passed the next week. Okay, I'm going to get my semester passed the next week. Voy a tener mi semestre pasado the next week. Okay, remember. So 
it's okay if we say I'm going to pass my semester next week. That's okay. But I'm going to get my semester passed. It sounds like somebody else is going to pass the semester for me, right? Because remember, if we if we use this structure, it's because um, somebody else is doing the things right for us. Alguien más hace las cosas por nosotros, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cut my hair. Can I cut my hair? No, right? So somebody else will cut it, right? So I say, uh, I'm going to get my hair cut. Uh, can I fix my car? Probably not because I didn't know about, me. Um, I'm not a mechanic. I didn't know about, about cars. So I am not fixing my car. So um, I'm going, or he is getting his car fixed by the mechanic, right? So in this sentence, let's see here. It's okay. It's okay, Cesar, uh, it's okay. What, 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 what is okay? Just let me know what's okay. okay so I am going How to- about uh -huh. about the, the semester pass that is is okay that I, I i don't think that and but i understood now you understand now okay perfect yeah, i understand now yes because it sounds it's grammatically correct grammaticalmente está bien pero suena como que alguien más va a pasarme el semestre va por mí yeah that's that's the the sound so sometimes if we say that or if we write that somebody will say oh, what do you mean by that right like you can the, the message can be misunderstood yeah it, it says i'm going to go swimming with my son yes that's grammatically correct because i'm going to go swimming with my son it's correct but it's another structure is going to right it's another structure i will get my hair cut by the barber yes but remember past participles what is the past participle of cut this one here and it says um i will my head my i will get i will get my hair cut so the past participle is not cut it is cut right cut okay it's irregular it's it, yeah. yes it's irregular perfectly very perfect so, yeah. let's see um in december this one i will read it so toñita had my house clean yesterday very good that's okay that's a very good sentence Tonita had my house clean yesterday. Probably Tonita is my friend and is really good person. And she called someone to clean my house. So she had my house clean yesterday. Perfect. Um, my mother, I'm having my mother's house clean for the family meeting. That's okay. My passport is spoiled. I will have to get a replace it. I understand the, the sentence. Good also but it says my passport is spoiled spoiled is como arruinado but in this case is spoil is like malcriado that malcriado como alguien someone is spoiled uh, it's like they are uh like they they, they are allowed to to do anything right uh even though if it is incorrect so it's, it's como lo malcrian a los hijos, alguien así. So they are spoiled. That is the meaning of that. But in this case, arruinado, it could be, it's, it's ruined. We can say that it's ruined. My passport is ruined. I will have to get it replaced. So in this case, let's fix this. My passport is ruined. Está arruinado. I will have to get it. I will, I will, I will have Okay, I will have to get it. We can use have or we can use get, right? One of those. Let's say that we are going to use have. I'll, I will have it replaced. Haré que me lo reemplacen. You see, I will have it replaced. Perfect, that's, per that's better. I have my PC clean. Of viruses because I buy an anti a new antivirus. That's okay. Perfect. So we have a lot of sentences here. And in this case, we are able to fix all of these sentences. Perfect. But you did a great job. I guess that you know how to use going to will, also the passive. Uh, we just need to practice a little bit more about this and also to review the past participles. But it's okay. It's it's very good. We are going to keep on practicing to better 
our uh, sentences. Yesterday also, uh, we studied like with phrasal verbs, right? We started studying phrasal verbs. So that would be the topic for today, phrasal verbs. Probably you already uh, studied this in the platform. Tal vez ya vieron esto en la plataforma. Uh, and also we already studied the meaning of broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Yesterday we uh, we talked about this, um, phrasal verbs. And also we, we did uh, something similar, right? With these sentences, the meaning. But we are going, I, I want to know if you know what a phrasal verb is or if you remember, right? Because this is a review. Uh, probably you already studied phrasal verbs. So can you tell me what is a phrasal verb? Or can you tell me what a phrasal verb is? ¿Qué es un phrasal verb? What is that? It's, it's when we use a verb with another another phrase or verb, but the verb changes the meaning. Yes, exactly. The verb changes the meaning if we add something else to the phrasal verb. Very good. Perfect. Another idea? Alguien más? Somebody else? What is a phrasal verb? I think that it's a verb that is uh, it's a complex verb, like with two or more words. Yes, very good, very good definitions. These are very good. It's like a complex verb because it has a, a more words, right? It has two words, or in this case, we are going to study phrasal verbs with three words, three words, right? So, um, we are going to, let's see what time it is, because this is an activity that is kind of, kind of long. So this is a mini presentation that I have here. Let me see if I'm able to show it to you. Esto es como una mini presentación. Vamos a ver si funciona, because it takes a little while to load. Probably my internet is kind of slow right now. But we are going to wait and we are going to fix, or actually we are going to practice phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are really useful because we can use a lot of phrasal verbs to express our ideas. And also because it uh, there is no rule to, 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 to form them or actually there is no rule to, to use them. We just need to memorize it like any other verb. No tenemos que aprender de memoria. That is the only way to, to learn phrasal verbs. So let's see here. Let's see if it, if it finally loads. So we are going to check phrasal verbs right now. If you want to participate, you can go to joinmyquiz.com. I will share the link right now. Copiar aquí. I will share the link here in the chat. So you can click in the link and you will go to this, to this page. Van a ir a esta página. And then it will ask you for a code. And you enter this code, 9 four, zero, six to seven. If you want to participate, right? If you just want to watch the class, that's okay. And you can enter your nickname and uh, you can participate, right? So we have Rebe there. Very good. We are going to wait for the rest. Leah there. We have Adonai. Very good, perfect. We have Eliu, perfect. We have Marvin, we have Rafael, perfect. We have Pogo, we have Nady, very good. Let's see who else. And I will check also uh, the responses, okay? Yo también voy a revisar las respuestas, okay? So remember, you just need to go, if you're using, we're going to close this and also this one. 
So if you are using uh, any any device, you can use joinmyquiz.com and enter the code, right? 940627. But we are going to start right now. Vamos a empezar ahorita. Let's see. So we are going to check the information first. Phrasal verbs, right? So what is a phrasal verb or what are phrasal verbs? Are a verb plus particles, right? Particles at, away, down, off, in, on any preposition. Plus the, plus the verb plus any preposition, we can create new verbs, right? New meanings. Types of phrasal verbs. We have, uh, for example, intransitive, way, uh, intransitive verbs without an object. I'm going to be tied up. Tied up is a phrasal verb. I'm going to be tied up all day so I can see her until tomorrow. The truck broke down. Break down is another phrasal verb, right? On the motorway. I feel sick as the plane took off. Take off is another phrasal verb, right? Despegar. Is the meaning of take off, right? And break down, arruinar, verdad? It tied up, que está atado, verdad? So there are different uh, meanings, right? And also we have transitive uh, verbs with an object, uh, which are separable. And we have adverb particles can go before or after noun or objects. And we are going to check here another phrasal verb. We brought forward the meeting. Bring forward is another a phrasal verb. We brought the meeting forward. You can see sometimes we can divide the phrasal verbs and we can put the object in the middle, right? When they are transitive. But that is a rule, like very grammatical rule, right? So I want you to focus on uh, the phrasal verbs. However, the particle cannot be used before a pronoun. We brought it forward, not we brought forward to it, okay? So we can use a pronoun between uh, the phrasal verbs, sometimes or when it's transitive. And also this, it says some verbs are followed by a preposition. In this case, the verb and particle are inseparable. We'll have to look into, look into is another phrasal verb, right? We have to look into the matter. I'm counting on your support, right? Counting on, on is another phrasal verb, right? And we have two particle verbs. Uh, como dijeron antes, uh, I, I, I phrasal verbs que son de dos palabras y otros que son de tres. Vamos a estudiar los que son de tres palabras. For example, we have here, she's trying to back out of our agreement. Organizations are beginning to wake up to these lost opportunities. We're not prepared to put up with her absenteeism any longer. We do not usually separate phrasal verbs with two particles. However, there are some transitive three word combinations that allow separation, right? So a play off against is another phrasal verb. A multinationals can play individuals markers off against each other. She puts her success down to hard work. Put down to is another phrasal verb. I'll take you up on that suggestion. Take up on is another phrasal verb. So sometimes, a veces, nosotros decimos, ¿y por qué lleva up? ¿Por qué lleva tantas palabras? ¿Por qué no entiendo, verdad? ¿Por qué lleva to? ¿Por qué lleva up? ¿Por qué lleva with? ¿Cómo sé cómo utilizarlo? Pero estos verbos ya están hechos así y se usan de esa manera. A veces se pueden separar y a veces no. So we have to learn them by heart, right? Tenemos que aprenderlos de memoria para poderlos usar correctamente. Exercises. Let's see some of them. Now, this one, I guess that these are exercises, but this is not the one that I want you to do. Este no es el que vamos a hacer como juego. Este no, no vamos a jugar con este. Eso es solo como era información, ¿verdad? Este solo es información. Sorry. Vamos a jugar con otro que tengo aquí preparado. Creo que I think that I have it ready here. So, phrasal verbs. This is the phrasal verb, right? For example, hang. What is the meaning of hang? ¿Quién sabe eh, cuál es el significado de hang? Hang. Gallina. No, hen is gallina, right? H-E-N. Hen is gallina. But hang, like this one, is like 
for example, colgar, verdad? It's hang, right? Colgar. Mm -hmm. But we have different meanings, right? For example, if I add on, hang on. What is hang on? It's informal, it's, it's to wait, right? A short time. If I tell you, hey, hang on, Elio. Hang on, to wait, right? Hey, wait, yes. right? Perfect. Okay. Hang around, to spend time somewhere, usually without doing very much. Hey, uh, Caesar, let's hang around, right? Vamos a, a pasear, vamos a fregar, como dicen en español. Let's hang around, right? Vamos a, a, a cualquier parte, hacer otra cosa. That's the con el tiempo de ocio, ¿verdad? Hang around. Hang on, right? Hang on ya no es colgar en, ¿verdad? Sino que es to hold something tightly. For example, if I say, Nady, hang on my computer or hang on my cell phone. Téngamelo, ¿verdad? Also, so keep it there, right? Hang on. Hang about. If I say, Mayra, right? Uh, let's hang about this, right? Let's spend time somewhere or usually without very much it's como uh, pasar el rato that hang about let's go into hang about uh, uh metro center right hang something up right to put something such the, as a coat so yes the general hang around is uh, similar to hang about yes hang around hang about yes it's similar because that's the reason why it, it is um around here right in parentheses correctly okay. so if i said my myra uh, hang it up right to put something such as a coat somewhere it can hang hang it up in the closet right Cuélguelo en el closet hang it up in the closet your coat or your sweater right hang up hang up to finish a conversation on the phone by putting the phone down for example i'm i'm talking to rafael and Rafael is sleeping, or I don't know, probably he's sick, and he hangs up the phone, right? And I say, oh, Rafael hang up the phone, right? I, I cannot hear him. Probably he hang up. So that is to finish the conversation on the phone. Hang out. Hang out is to spend a lot of time in a particular place or with a particular people. If I say, Zulma, let's hang out, right? Let's go to the movie theater. Or they watch a movie, right? Let's hang out. Let's go to Burger King and let's let's eat something, right? So we are going to hang out, right? Uh, also, hang on to something is to keep something, right? Hang on to something, uh, to keep something to you, right? And uh, again, right? Hang on to wait for a short time. Hang on. So uh, we are going to check here. Uh, these are these are examples. You see how diverse can be a phrasal verbs, right? Uh, just one word, hang, colgar, and then if we add on, around, another on, right? So we have two meanings with the same. Uh, up, out is something totally different. Questions, preguntas. As I already said. You don't have rules. No tenemos reglas para esto. Eso ya están inventados. So we have to memorize them. Memorize it. This one is the one that we are going to check and we are going to, to play with this. Sorry. I forgot this. Con este sí vamos a jugar, okay? Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios con, con este quiz. This is a quiz, right? So we are going to play a little bit with phrasal verbs. Let's see here. I'm going to share the link again, join my quiz. The same, right? And I will share it in the chat. Otra vez voy a compartir el link in the chat. Go to the chat and now the code is different. It's 11072. 11072, perfect. Elio is already there. Rafael is already there. Leah is already there. And I will check also uh, the sentences. Pogo is ar already there. Adonai is there also. Thank you, Adonai. Rebe, thank you. And I will check also the Marvin. Thank you. I will check also the, the, the questions. These questions are with time. Estas son con tiempo, okay? 
are time sensitive. If, some, if something is time sensitive, is that it's with time. Cuando oigan esta expresión time sensitive, es que va con tiempo, ¿verdad? So you have to hurry up to answer. Josué, Nady, thank you for joining. Now we are going to start, right? Vamos a empezar. You can also use the, even if, if you if we are already started, we, you can use the link and enter the, the game, right? So we are going to start right now. Let's see here. Next one. Okay, it says, what do you think that are phrasal verbs? What are phrasal verbs? They are compound verbs that have different meaning. I don't know. Are auxiliary verbs used in a negative structure or a question or to show tense? Or they are used for actions they have begun but not finished. It can also be used to talk about future arrangements. Go ahead. Choose one. They are, they are compound. One. Okay, choose one. Choose one. Two. Very good. Perfect. They are compound verbs that have a different meaning. Pueden escogerlo también en su dispositivo. Quiero ver si puedo... Because it's, it's, it's kind of loud. Let's see here. Sound effects. Read text allow sound effects. No. What did I do? I didn't know. Okay, let's see. Next one. It says consists of a union of that can mean several things. Let's sure. see. Are you able to see the question? Consist of the union is, is so black. The union is two words that can mean several things. Okay, let's see. Consists of the union of two words exactly that mean that can mean several things, two words or many, right? Okay. Okay, this is more uh, information about phrasal verbs. It consists of a verb plus a preposition. Así se forman los phrasal verbs. That's the way they are formed. Verb plus preposition or verb plus adverb. For example, give up is a verb and up is a preposition, right? Give up, rendirse. Don't give up, right? And come back, regresar, right? Come, verb, and back, an adverb. I usually come back late. I usually return late, right? So that those are phrasal verbs. Let's see another one. We have two types, transitive and intransitive. Transitive verbs, uh, sometimes they, or most of the times, we cannot separate them. No lo podemos separar. Pero los intransitive, yes, we are able to. Examples, turn off or pick up. Actually, yes, yeah, sometimes we can uh, separate turn off, right? I always turn off the light. She picks up my brothers. Intransitive, break down, run away. I It broke down. We have to run away. Separables. Turn off and pick up. We can separate uh, these, like the transitive. The trans transitive are, can be separable or inseparable. And in transitive, they can be, they can only be inseparable. So we have to be careful with that. A veces van a ver que los verbos se separan, pero porque son transitivos y por eso pueden ser separables. Y a veces no se pueden separar. Y los intransitivos nunca se pueden separar porque no tienen un objeto. That is the meaning of that. Sometimes you are going to check that they separate. For example, turn off, right? I always turn off the light or I always turn the light off. So if you if you say why why is separated, is it a phrasal verb or not? Yes, it is a phrasal verb, but we can separate it because it's transitive, right? So that is um, one of the things that we have with these verbs. And we have another example here with come, come into, come about, come along, come after, come over, come apart, come before, come at, come across, come away and come back. All of them, different meanings. Diferentes significados, todos, como hang, right? Mm -hmm. 
Now, another question. We have another question here. Would you like to come off, to come out, or to come over my flat next Friday to watch a film? What is the right one? Come out? Come out. Let's see. You can choose one in your uh, devices. No, come out is not the correct one. It's come over, right? Come over es como invitar, ¿verdad? Es como alguien te invita. You can come over to my house. So it's like inviting you. This person is inviting you to your house. Come out is to go out, right? To go out. Come out, right? Let's see. Let's see another one. The next week meeting will come out, come over, come off on Tuesday. What is the correct one? Come over. Let's see. I choose come over. Okay. No, it's come off, right? Come off. The next week's meeting will come off on Tuesday. Come off. Es como eh, va a salir, verdad? O come off. Uh, va a salir o va a venir, verdad? The next week's meeting will come off on Tuesday. Let's see another one. Get. We're going to check the meanings, right? Because we didn't check the meanings before. Get, we have get up. Get up is to get out of bed, right? Get out of bed, salir de la cama. Get away. Get away is like have a holiday, right? Or to, to get away, right? Get over is to break something, right? Get down is to go down. Go off, oh, sorry, get off, leave a place. Get in, arrive in a place. Get by, get by is to manage, como administrar algo, poder administrar algo, poder llevar a cabo algo. Across, get across is to understood. Get along is to have a friend, friendly relationship with someone. Get on is like board something, get on the car, right? Abordar el, el, get on the bus, abordar el autobús, right? Or get out, leave, right? Salir, verdad? Let's see uh, the next questions. The police let him get out, get away, get around with only a $10 ticket. What is the correct one? What is the correct one? Get out, right? No, get out is incorrect. A get out is incorrect. Which is the correct one? Get away. Get away. Okay, get away. yes. Get away. The police let him get away with only a $10 ticket. Okay, perfect. Let's see another one. It says, my grandfather can get away, around, or out, fine, in his new wheelchair. Get away, get around, or get out. Get away. Let's see. Get around, right? Get around. My, my grandfather can get around fine in his new wheelchair. Get around is como que pasear, ¿verdad? Puede pasear. He can get around fine in his new wheelchair. Perfect. Let's see next one. 
I don't get, I don't know that baby could get away, get around, get out of the cut. Of the cut. Out, get out. Out? Get no. out, let's see. Yes, get out of the cut. What is cut? What is the meaning of cut? Cut is a, like a jacket, like a... Oh, no, that is a coat, right? It's coat. like a jacket, C-O-A-T. But cut is like cuna, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. No sabía que el bebé se podía salir de la cuna, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's see if we have more. Okay, this will be the last one, porque ya casi terminamos. Up, right? And uh, this is a preposition, right? Up, arriba. But we can use it, we can use it in different one, right? Put up, break up, dissolve, right? Put up is a uh, large blow up, explosion, grow up, increase, set up, increase also, clean up, wipe, clean up is como limpiar, speed up, accelerate, cropped up is Crop, crop up is como cortar, ¿verdad? Split up, break, or split. So we have different uh, options, right, with up. So we are going to um, crop up also is como surgir also. I just checked that. So what we are going like? to have... Sorry? Let's, what is... Let's see. What is blow up or grow up? Lose, the first first one. Break up or solo put, up? Put, put up? Put up. Put up is uh, like, I know put up with, but put up is como hospedarse, hospedarse, put up in a lodge. What is lodge? Lodge is como un hospedaje o un os, os como un hostal. Como un hospedaje hostal, yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So you see, you have to know uh, because sometimes it, it put up can be um, translated in, in, in different ways, right? For example, if I use put up with, put up with, it's another meaning. Es como soportar, ¿verdad? I can't put up with uh, this class. No, no puedo soportar esta clase. No puedo soportar this problem. I can't put up with this problem. So put up with is another one. So vamos a hacer el último. The last one. So, okay, let's see. It says to go faster and faster is the same as to call up speed. or speed up. Speed up. Okay, let's see. Yes, speed up, right? Very good, perfect. And since Pogo and Rebe and Leah and Adonai, very good, they are doing it very well. Let's see the next one. If a problem suddenly happens, it is the same as a problem has just beat up or cropped up. Let's choose crop, let's see.
exactly crop top right so here right if a problem suddenly happens it is the same as a problem has just cropped up. Como solamente surgió, ¿verdad? Very good. Let's see. The next, next one. So divide into groups is the same as to screw up. Split, split up. Split. Split up. Let's see. Split. Let's see. Exactly, yeah. split up. To divide into groups is the same as to split up. Split up, perfect. Very good, Leah, Paulo, Adonai, Reva, and Rafael. Very good. And let's see the next. Oh, so that's it. Let's see. Yes. Okay, so Leah, very good. 4,960 points. Perfect. Second place, uh, Pogo, Thanks. 4,750. And number three, Adonai, 4,710 points. Reverend Rafael in the fifth place, Eliu, seventh, Marvin Salazar, Jose, and Nady. Perfect. Very good. You did very well. Now, uh, did you like this kind of activity? ¿Les gustó la actividad? Yes, of course. Yes. 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 Really yes. Nice. yes. <laughs> Very good. So we will try to uh, create more activities like this so you can interact, okay? Let's see. So we have three word phrasal verbs. That's what we studied today. Three words. For example, um, the three-part verb is a, a verb form combining a verb plus a, pass, a participle plus a preposition or an adverb. For example, I ran out of milk. Run out is to finish something, right? So that is another phrasal verb. For example, break up with, to end a romantic relationship with somebody, right? Marina broke up with Pete because he was very possessive, right? Come up with, right? To think of something such as an idea or a plan. Javier came up with a great idea to learn English faster. Look forward to, to be excited for something. Henry is looking forward to learning Japanese. Keep up with another phrasal verb, move over progress at the same speed as someone or something else. It's difficult for me to keep up with the new technology. It changes so fast. Get along with, to have a good relationship with someone. Chris Mary gets along with her siblings very well. They never fight. Cut down to reduce the quantity of something. Lloydie needs to cut down on fast food. Put up with, to tolerate something you don't like. I can't put up with the noise my neighbors make. I'll call the police. Take care of to be responsible for something, someone or something. Sophia is going to take care of my dogs this week. I have to travel. And those will be the phrasal verbs that you are going to study in this section, right? So I will share this information with you at the end of this week. And tomorrow we are going to practice this conversation. Um, let's see. I think that we have some questions here. At the end of the test, there is a review. Oh, okay, very good. So um, at, at the end of the quiz, we had a review. You can check also the links. I will I will share the, the links with you. So you can check this information, okay? Thank you. Um, thank you, Elizabeth, for that information. So we are going to uh, practice this conversation tomorrow. We are going to practice the pronunciation because we need to practice that. And we are going to listen to it, but that will be tomorrow. Let's see if we have... Um... Yes, uh, let's see if there's any other... Oh, this will be for Thursday. So uh, try to... Uh, we are going to... Uh, I'm going to send you this to the group. Let's go enviar esto al grupo. And try to check if you have phrasal verbs here. Revisen si hay algún phrasal verb aquí. Y traten de eh, practicar y repasar la pronunciación de la conversación. Okay, I will share the link also. 
So tomorrow we are going just to be better and better. You will have tomorrow to practice, okay? So uh, the pronunciation. And also at the beginning of the class, we are going to review, right? If you have any question, any doubt, any um, new word, right? Our pronunciation. So practice is what we have to do to better our English. Now, do you have any question about the platform? Preguntas acerca de la plataforma? I will always ask about this because I don't want you to have problems with your diploma. Siempre les voy a preguntar de eso porque no quiero que tengan problemas con el diploma al finalizar la, 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 es el módulo, ¿verdad? So do you have any question? Any question about uh, the information for today? Or any question about the, the homework? ¿Alguna pregunta? Questions, you can raise your hand or you can write a message in the chat if you want, if you're shy. Only, only one thing. Uh -huh. Will you send us a, a list with the most common of the most useful uh, phrasal verb? Very good. I will send you a link. I will send you a link uh, with the most common phrasal verbs. I will send it to you today. Um, at the end of this class, I will look for the link and I will send it to you, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, perfect. And I will take a screenshot of this conversation. I'll, I will send it to the group so you can practice it. Uh, if you don't have any questions, we are going to finish today. Thank you very much for your commitment and also for your hard work because it's, it's kind of difficult to learn English at 9 p.m. on a weekday. So thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you. Okay, good night. Have a nice night. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you. Bye.